Greetings all, Ragnarok Prepper here. And today on this blustery fall day, I wanted to share with you the results of another of our experiments. Um, it's been a few years since we've grown celery on the homestead, and we happened upon a few small plants in April, which is not the preferred time to plant celery. But anyway, what we decided to do was to put them in pots. Uh, we protected them through the cold pre-spring days, covered them with buckets when it was supposed to get frost, and I think they did really well. We've been harvesting off of them all year long, um, and so now what I'm going to do, that the frost is here again, is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut these down, but we're going to taper this into another experiment. I'm going to go ahead and harvest this plant here, but then this plant I'm just going to trim down and we're going to try and keep it indoors and see if we can, can, pardon me. And we're going to see if we can go ahead and continue harvesting celery through the fall and winter. Just in time for that Thanksgiving stuffing. All right, so for the plant that I'm going to go ahead and completely harvest, I'm just going to go ahead and start snipping it off at the base. Love the smell of fresh celery. Now when you're harvesting your celery, I hope you realize that these leaves are a very useful part of the plant as well. They're edible and can be thrown into any recipe in which you use celery. So if you can use the stalk, you can use the leaves too. No reason to waste any of the plant. There are plenty of ways to preserve your celery. We prefer to dry ours. And we'll go ahead and just chop these up, put them on the dryer racks, and go ahead and let them dry out. Now there are a couple here that look like they've already succumbed to the frost. But that's okay. The pigs and chickens don't mind. So as you can see here, this was two plants in a pot and they did outstanding. Now what I could do to continue this as well is just bring this pot in the house as well and let it sit like this and it will go ahead and continue to grow more stalks out. Uh, I'm not sure if any of you have ever tried that old experiment where you take the end of a celery stalk that you purchase at the store you go ahead and put it in the dirt. That's essentially where we're at right here. This will continue to grow and produce more celery as long as the conditions are met that it needs to grow, i.e. the warm temperatures and the water. I don't have enough room to provide warm temperatures for all these plants, but we will try and do it with the other plant here. So what I'm going to do on this plant is I'm just going to trim back some of the older 
pieces, some of the pieces that are succumbing to the frost, take off some of the dry leaves, and get a trimmed down version to go ahead and put in the windowsill. Kind of like flower arranging. Get a guy and snip off the stems. It don't look as healthy. And just be careful when you're snipping the stem that you're only snipping the stem that you want to as they grow closely together here. And then some nice stalks there. This one back. And now in this pot, there's actually four celery plants. Pretty good. Maybe a couple stragglers here. There we go. All right. So this is the plant that I'm going to go ahead and see if we can continue to nurture inside. 